Burkos, and welcome to this episode 55 of the Chris Hunter Comedy Podcast with me, Chris Hunter. Hello, how are you doing? Are you well? I hope you are. I've had a pretty good week, I hope you have too, because uh, my week's been, well, it's been busy. You know, the usual kind of busy, busy business and bullshittery that I have to do. But that's fine, you know, if you keep busy, you're not dead, or something something deep like that um we didn't do our usual going for a burger this week normally every saturday we go to cafe at the end of the universe followed by dark side of the spoon to get ourselves some tasty burgers and tasty desserts but this week we were having a lazy saturday and we thought you know what we're comfy we're watching stuff sorry we'll go next week we'll go next week but the burger did sound amazing if not a bit hot for me but it was the hell boy so it was a double beef patty spicy cheese a buttermilk fried smoked bacon. I'm really curious what that was like. I'm kind of sad that I missed that, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure my arteries are happy that I missed it. <laughs> uh, there was onions and jalapenos, and there was homemade fiery hell sauce and some sriracha mayo, just for good measure. I want to know what the hell homemade fiery hell sauce is, because I saw a picture, and I'm pretty sure that picture was full of uh, Carolina Reapers or something like that. Scotch bonnet, maybe. Something small and evil. That's what that picture was full of. But, uh, yeah, so I didn't get the burger this week. But, like I said, you guys should all go there every week. Not sponsored, by the way. Just like to say those guys are awesome and they know it. Um, but, ladies and gentlemen, it has returned. Winter is no longer coming. Winter is here. Game of Thrones is back, ladies and gents. Don't worry. No spoilers in this, in this podcast. You don't need to turn off. There will be zero spoilers. I watched it. I'm happy about this. Um, now, we we don't have Sky Atlantic, which is the channel that it's on, uh, but we do have um, some free passes. You know when you get those like free one-month pass for Now TV? Um, oh, sorry, I've got the hiccups again. I always get the bloody hiccups when I'm podcasting every friggin' week. Um, yeah, we, we have those passes that you get where it's like one month free on Now TV. So we use that instead, and we've got three of them knocking about somehow. I don't remember how. It must have, We must have got it with different things that we bought or something. I don't know. Maybe it was a promotion at game. I can't bloody remember. Anyway, back on track, Chico. Okay. Um, yeah, we use that, and then it was really good, actually. It's a good service, and I noticed it's got the Sopranos on it. So for these three months in between watching Game of Thrones, off at night time, I might try and binge The Sopranos because I've always wanted to watch that. And I've never seen it. I've never seen a second of it. So I thought I'll give that a go. Uh, that'll be pretty good, won't it? Hey, won't it? Um, but yeah, Game of Thrones is awesome. I really enjoyed it. Um, however, whilst we were watching it, our internet died. Uh, the, it looked, it was, I think there was some kind of like power cut or something in the area. So like the, I mean, our house wasn't really affected, but the Wi-Fi router restarted and alarms started going off outside at exactly the same time. And apparently people on the uh, the old Facebooks were saying that, yeah, the area's got some kind of energy power cut issue. And, you know, pff, whatever, we can wait a minute, can't we? We're patient people in this house. So, yeah, we just waited a bit. Um, but it was bloody good. Uh, like I said, no spoilers. Uh, I just say that I enjoyed it. I thought it was very well done. Uh, I'm sad that there's only, was it like seven more? And then that's it. That's it. Bye-bye. End of. But I'm super, super curious what happens. I really, really am curious. I don't know where it's going to go, but I know I want to be there. Um, it's going to be awesome. And speaking of awesome things, I saw today the footage from... Um, let, let me start a bit earlier. There is a thing on at the moment called the Star Wars Celebration or something like that. I forget what they call it. But basically, it's a massive geek fest for people like me who love Star Wars and want any bit of extra information they can get about upcoming films and shows and whatnot. And there is a TV show coming called The Mandalorian, which has been in the works for ages and seems to get cancelled a whole bunch of times, but it's actually finally happening and they revealed some footage at the expo. And some very kind person put that footage on the internet. Um, so, of course, it's all over YouTube, so I had to have a look. And lo and mo fucking behold, who do I see in this footage for The Mandalorian? But oh, freckles himself, Mr. Bill Burr. Comedy legend, living comedy legend, Bill motherfucking Burr is dual-wielding pistols as a mercenary in Star Wars. That is the coolest sentence I have ever said, and I've said many cool things in my time. Look at me. I am the king of cool. But um, I, I couldn't believe it when I saw him. I, I mean, I saw a, um, an article somewhere else saying that he was in it. And I just thought, well, that's bullshit. They've obviously misseen it. Because this article was saying these are the people that they spotted in the trailer uh, from the footage. And so, the, you know, they're excited to announce them. And I thought, well, yeah, but if it's dodgy, like, you know, side cam footage or whatever, then they don't know if it's him or not. But I watched it, and I'm saying it's him. 
I mean, I might be wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. And if that is the case, that is so fucking funny because Bill, um, he, he does not like Star Wars, if I remember right, from what I've heard in the podcast. He's not a fan of Star Wars. He probably thinks we're all geeks. And you know what? We are. But that's fine. I'm just so excited that he's part of the that universe, if it is him. But like I said, I'm, I'm 99.9% certain it was him, dual-wielding like the badass that he is. I mean, he, he fits the bill perfectly for a mercenary. He's got that kind of sort of, I don't want to say weaseliness to him, but he's got that kind of, like, can get shit done about him, you know what I mean? I think that's the case anyway, but yeah, that made me really excited to see that. Um, so yeah, I've, that, I can't wait. I had no idea when the, when it's coming out. I didn't look into it properly. I probably should have, really. I mean, who am I to talk to people who might actually be listening if I don't give them correct information? I apologise, folks. I'm not made of Google. I am simply a stoop who's sitting here talking to a microphone on his own with a bottle of Coke Zero to his right. There you go, painting a picture, folks, painting a picture. Um, yeah, so that was that, and I really, really enjoyed the footage, by the way, not just the Bill Burr part. The whole thing looks fucking ace, so I can't wait for that to come out. That's obviously going to be coming out on uh, Disney+. Plus. That's the new Disney streaming service that's coming, which actually sounds pretty good and reasonable for, like, what is it, like $8 or something a month? $6? I forget now, but either way, it's cheap as chips, as the old saying goes. Um, but because Disney now own Fox, that also includes the entire back catalogue of uh, The Simpsons as well. So that's pretty interesting, uh, because I remember collecting The Simpsons DVDs when I was younger, and shit, they were expensive. <laughs> and they also took up so much goddamn space on your shelves, because those fuckers are big. Those fuckers are moosive. Um, but yeah, so, you know... That's what's going on with Star Wars. I went to the cinema last night, folks. I went to watch Hellboy. Um, I was very excited for it. I was really looking forward to seeing... Um, oh, shit, what's the guy's name? The, the guy from Stranger Things, who is now Hellboy instead of Ron Perlman. I really love Ron Perlman, so it, I was sad that he wasn't in it anymore. And I love Guillermo del Toro. Uh, I was sad that he wasn't doing it any, anymore. But I thought, you know what? They'll do this right. I feel it. Because I saw the footage... Uh, sorry, I saw the picture. Like the promo shot that they did of the guy dressed as Hellboy. And I thought, fuck, they've done a good job. That really is like a badass Hellboy. And then I watched the film. Oy. I felt... I'd, I just cringed most of the way through the film. I'm not going to say the film was cringe, because I'm not an arsehole. Cringe is not the kind of word you would just whack at the end there. Is it a verb? I don't know what the term is. I'm stoop. But no, it was cringy as hell to watch, because... The character himself, Hellboy, was awesome. The environments and the settings and the monsters and all this stuff, they were all awesome because they tried to keep it kind of Del Toro-esque. But every other fucking support and actor in this film, apart from, um, what's his name, the guy from American Gods, apart from him, every other fucker cannot act. <laughs> and it's like they, they took every possible like English cliche and threw it in there. And as an English person watching it, it it just all feels wrong. I'm sure Americans watching it will love it. They think that's what we are. They think that's how we talk. They think that's how we behave. And we call Jaffa Cakes cookies. That was the biggest thing. Who the fuck calls a Jaffa Cake a cookie? I will cut you, woman. Jaffa Cakes are not cookies. They're not even biscuits. They're cakes. It says in the fucking box. But anyway, um, yeah, that was that was annoying. And there was this one guy. There's a character in it who he he's how do I describe him? He only speaks in sound bites. I think. Like, but he's, he's, he he delivers everything like some kind of like M and S advert. Like instead of saying like you know, I'm gonna kick your ass or whatever, like, I'm gonna kick your ass or whatever, he says I'm gonna kick your ass. You're gonna go down. I'm gonna get you. Watch out. You know that kind of stuff, and it's really fucking annoying because as a person, you can't relate to that because. In video games, it's fine. You need, like, a selection of lines for the character to feed out whenever you whack him in the face. Ow, that hurt. Ow, don't do that. Ugh. You know, all that kind of shit. But this guy saying it as a person in a film, you couldn't connect at all on a human level. Um, not to mention the... There was, this, there was this girl in it who's an English girl, or at least playing an English girl. And I don't even know... I, I, honestly, I, I feel like they, they said... They said to the hiring, uh, the cast and director, I'm pretty sure they went, you know what, we could get people who can act, but fuck it, let's just go for whoever you find, literally the first person you put your hands on when you go outside, but don't actually put your hands on them because we live in a Me Too age. The first person you step outside and point at, that is the person you should hire to be in this film because we blew all our budget on Mr. Stranger Things. I mean, that shit's gone. Ooh, no money. So anybody you point at, that's the fucker we bring in. 
Okay, doesn't matter what they look like, doesn't matter what they sound like, doesn't even matter if they can speak like a human. Bring them on in, we'll use them. Um, and that's exactly what happened. So I really, it saddened me. It irked me. It hurt me, sir. Um, no, it made me feel a bit bad because I was really looking forward to it. But, you know, it's fine. It, I give it a solid 4 out of 10. 4 out of 10. Now, to be fair, I think that's a bit generous. Um, but I stand by it. I like the IP. I want the IP to survive. I just want every uh, support and actor not to. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Anywho, we'll be back in a moment, folks, after a word from our sponsors. DC Comics presents Sing Along with the Joker with hits such as Row, Row, Row Your Boat Row, Row, Row Your Boat Gently down the stream If you see a body, then don't forget to scream Old MacDonald had a farm Old MacDonald had a farm E-I-E-I-O And on that farm, he had five wives E-I-E-I-O with a Mormon here and a Mormon there. Here is one, there is one, everywhere is a Mormon. And Hickory Dickory Dock. Hickory Dickory Dock. The mouse is in a sock. The sock's gone red, the mouse is dead. Hickory Dickory Dock. Let's put a smile on that face. Okay, that's quite enough of that nonsense, I think. So, uh, good news, folks. It's that time of year again. The second most wonderful time of the year after Christmas. It is indeed the Easter break time, which means we get a four-day week, followed by a four-day weekend, followed by another motherfucking four-day week. And it's going to be nice. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to just chilling out, doing a bit of work, doing a bit of gaming, doing a bit of burping. <clears throat> Excuse me. That was a little bit of a burp just there. Um, yeah, I, it's it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. Um do you guys remember me saying last week about there's this app that Charlie's got called Toriba? Um, and it's an app that lets you play the crane games actually in Japan via a live stream. And if you win the prize, they actually send it to you to your real, actual, real, actual house. Um, well, just before coming up to record the podcast, she spent today's free credit and she only went and won herself a cute little cushion. And it looks, it's quite adorable, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. It's quite a cute cushion. Um, I think she's very, very happy about that. So I wonder how long it's going to take because this her other thing that she won has finally actually been shipped now. I've said actually 4,000 times today. The other thing that she won has been shipped now. It's on the way. So I'm going to, I'm going to say it's going to be three weeks. I'm thinking two months early. But I'd like to think three weeks. So that would be nice. Um, I kind of want to play a bit more of it. I've only played the free tokens that you get when you sign up. I'm not going to buy any. Um, I've told Charlie she's fine too. It's practice for Japan, isn't it? But I'm not going to buy any because I'm not very good at them games anyway. And also, I don't need stuff. I have enough stuff right now. I'm trying to get rid of stuff, if anything. But, you know, plushies can be vacuum packed and sent wherever they need to be. So that stuff's fine. Uh, plus, some things can be sold on pretty easily. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, that's that. And also, we're going to go see our friend's performance of Emma, the Dunham Thespians, who you guys might remember I said we went to see a while ago, uh, that really good farce that we watched. Um, this time, it's going to be Emma, a nice bit of Jane Austen. Mm, very refined of your Chico. I know, I know. I'm a very refined individual. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go see them on the 24th, I believe. Uh, like a week tomorrow. So that's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. I love going to the theatre. I love going to local theatre. Uh, I love supporting friends' performances, if possible. So it's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. She's directing it, so it should be pretty spick span on point. We're going on an opening night, as far as I know. So, you know, no pressure if you're listening, Laura. But it's going down. We'll be there, and we will notice if anything goes wrong. <laughs> we will bully. We will point. We will laugh. We will jest. Um, but no, it's going to be nice. I'm looking forward to it. I'm very much looking forward to that. And then at some point, what month are we in? April. April, May. We're going to London next month to watch Jupiter because we had the tickets booked ages ago. Uh, Jupiter is the other band for Versailles who we listen to. It's like two or three of the members from there. They go and do Jupiter, do their own thing for a little bit and then go back to Versailles. It's really nice. Amazing music. Really, really good stuff. You guys need to go and listen Anything with Hazaki in it is an awesome band. But I feel I'm losing some of you folks right now. So, uh, let's see, what else was I going to say? Yes, I've been trying to get back to learning my Japanese. And I know I say this every week, but 
I do try. I just don't have much time. But recently what I've taken to do in, in work, I got a special notepad, which I bought myself work. Um, a notepad that I have. And at lunch, when it's my lunch time, I'll do my flashcards and I'll write out, like physically with a pen and paper, I'll write out the thing that I'm looking at. That way it kind of helps sink it into your brain a little bit, you know? And that's what I've been missing out on. I've not been writing really anything out whilst I've been learning. Um, because the audio course that I use tells you not to write stuff. That's one that's just for absorbing. It's their job to make you remember, which is the Michelle Thomas method. Very good. Um, and the other thing I'll be doing is flashcards. Uh, but I should be writing down what I see in the flashcards as well. Um, which is a good idea to do. So that is what I'm going to be doing. Now, folks, I appreciate you guys listening to this. I would also appreciate if you would subscribe if you like what you listen to. I'll tell your friends if you like what you listen to because I need people, I need ears on this podcast. You know what I mean? I need suggestions, I need questions, I need answers, people. So if you know anybody who you think might be interested in this or you just want to send them a link so that they can laugh at how bad something is, feel free. So long as those more folks are listening. So I'm going to head off now, but thanks a lot for listening, folks. I... I'm available on all my social medias as per usual. I'm uh, on Twitter. I'm at ChrisHunter.com, which is short for comedy. Uh, and on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, it is Chris Hunter Comedy Podcast. So thanks a lot for listening, folks. I will see all you beautiful barstools next week. Bye bye now. <laughs>